the thing that we try to do in this classroom is prepare students with the basics that they need to go out and hold a job in this particular industry. Now that doesn't necessarily involve just technical skills, but it involves personal skills as well, what we call soft skills. That would be things like making sure to, that you come to class on time, that you are always exemplifying a professional attitude that you can communicate well and get along well with your other uh, classmates. So all of that plays into being the type of employee that a particular employer would be looking for. So we hope to prepare you in all those ways. Some of the jobs that our students typically step out into are some internships, that typically can lead on into a job, but those might be things like an editor position. It might be that you go to work with, say, some, somebody like Cox Cable, and you step in and you might begin at the bottom, uh, pulling cords or running um, audio. So it could be a variety of things that get you in the door, but you've got to be willing to start at the bottom and work your way up. Uh, typically, you're not going to go in as the photojournalist from the very beginning, but you're going to step in and maybe be an editor, something prior to uh, moving into another position. Um, some of the other places that typically students go into is they might hook up with a team, a production team that goes on site and shoots video of conferences or they might choose to be an entrepreneur and start their own business, perhaps shoot weddings. A lot of our students go to work in churches where they, do a, they have a media team that produces videos for each of their lecture series that they're going through at that particular point in time. So those are some of the places that students can get jobs. The softwares we use in class, in particular, we always want our, all of our students armed with Photoshop, and so we would ask that they complete that particular lap and even obtain certification in that. But as far as the programming or the editing side of video, we use Final Cut Pro. We also would welcome the opportunity for students to take advantage of working in Adobe Premiere. Those are the two programs that you're going to see out in the field, at least that your skills are transferable. If um, in the news stations, a lot of times they'll use Avid. We do not have that program here, but again, the skills are very transferable that you learn in Final Cut or Adobe Premiere. So that's the editing pieces we use. We also like our video students to learn After Effects and also motion because adding the animations to your video is a very important part of putting together an interesting piece. Anybody can apply to be a student here at Francis Tuttle, even in this particular audio video, that can be anywhere from 11th and 12th grade students in the high school all the way up through adult age. So this program is open to anybody that has an interest in this field and would like to gain more knowledge to go out and venture out into this career field or again, be an entrepreneur and just start your own business. The classroom is set up on a self-paced basis. Students come in and there is a variety of applications and courses that we want students to take and so that they are fully prepared for this field. They can work through those basically at their own pace. Uh, they are required to accomplish three hours of work per day 
and sometimes that'll go a little faster and sometimes it'll go a little slower but generally that's a nice average and students will be able to keep up with that pace. The nice part is is they are getting courses that they're interested in that actually feed into this major and that's the advantage of the career tech system is you're not necessarily having to go through your math and your English and all the things that you are uh, going through at the college level, but you get to step right into those areas of interest. However, many of our courses do give college credit so that you are obtaining both the career tech college, the career tech credit, as well as gaining college hours on your college transcript. So kind of a dual um, application there. Basically, before joining the class, you need to understand the time constraints that it will um, be on your personal schedule, that if you agree to come in the morning, that you have a three-hour time frame. If you are a full-time student, you have six hours in class with a break between. You um, need to plan on being um, here on time again and making sure that your attendance doesn't fall below the probationary level of 90% which is school policy. One other thing you might be interested in is if there is any cost in providing any of the software or the books that we use in class or equipment for that matter. But there is no cost to you the student. We do provide all of that to you as well as we have a site with some video training that you have access to 24-7 and you have access to your curriculum 24-7 through a learning management software called Blackboard.